Hello again, and welcome to our Everflex Sales Academy. When planning a door system for a new construction project or the extension of a building, most people are perplexed. The question is, what are the differences between a conventional door and a high-speed door? This question and many more helpful details for choosing the perfect door will be answered by Klaus Mahnlich, the Everflex door expert. He gives you a broader view on what is relevant for making the right choice for your individual requirements. Thank you, Rebecca. Hello, I'm Klaus Mannlich from the Effeflex Sales Academy. So Rebecca already raised the main question, when and for what reasons should I decide to use a high-speed door system? So let's imagine the following scenario. An investor is looking for a new external door for the extension of the existing building. He's heard about conventional industrial doors, roller shutters, sectionals, but he's also heard about high-speed doors and is uncertain which system he should use in his project. The term industrial door relates to the conventional door types, normally electrically operated as we knew them 20-25 years ago, roller shutters and sectional doors. They're normally available in insulated or uninsulated versions, some have windows, some are completely sealed very often with a very simple controller, often with dead man control. The doors open and close with relatively slow speeds and they have relatively low lifetime expectations of operating cycles. The term high speed door is actually a little bit misleading. It only aims at one of the many capabilities and qualities of the product, namely the opening and closing speed. In reality, a high speed door is not only defined by its speed, but by a variety of different performance parameters and characteristics. In fact, the term high performance door, an Anglo-American term, comes much closer to the real description, but hasn't prevailed in many other languages, including German. The speed of a moving roller shutter is usually somewhere in the range of five to 10 centimeters per second, where uh, a sectional door can move at up to 30 centimeters per second, opening and closing speeds generally around the same. Whereas a high speed door, we talk about operating speeds of up to four meters per second, while the closing speeds can reach up around one meter per second. Because of the much higher speed and acceleration of high-speed doors, the systems have to handle much, much greater forces, which need to be considered during the design. Not only a much stronger and quicker motor is required, but also all of the components of the drive system have to be upgraded to continuously fulfill um, the mechanical requirements for many years and many millions of operating cycles. This is particularly relevant to parts like the patented hinge chain, drive shafts, tracks, rollers, and so on. Due to the increased forces, the requirements towards the functional safety of high-speed doors is much greater. Simple conventional doors can be found using a dead man control. It means often there's no automation and also there's no safety systems. For high-speed doors, this is totally different. With these, a combination of safety edge and photocell is the legally defined minimum equipment requirement while premium products will be equipped with touch-free safety systems like infrared light grids. In general, we'll find the door controllers of the high-speed doors offer way more options and functions to those of a conventional door system. After we've briefly shown the fundamental differences, we need to find out the performance requirements of a new door. What do you need it to deliver? The profile is often based on the following criteria. The first one would always be intensity of use. The second, activation and safety, the automation. The third item is economics and the fourth one, sustainability. The intensity of usage is one of the most important criteria for this decision. How many times a day? How many times per shift? When will the opening be used? The results are the annual number of opening cycles. While a sectional door has an overall lifetime expectation of around 50 to 75,000 cycles, a high-speed door can easily do several hundred thousand cycles per year. The high-speed door with more than 5 million cycles on the counter are really not that unusual. Then we come to the level of automation required and this defines the activation and safety systems. A variety of different activation devices is available it starts with simple, mechanically op operated items and it goes through to automatic sensing devices. In other words, it's not only about function, but also about comfort and of course economics. 
and the same is valid for the safety systems between which we must choose. This is even more true when we start to think about requirements for smart factory, industry 4 and product digitalization. We're pretty lucky in our region, power cuts are uh, an unusual thing, but we know this is by far the case in many regions in Europe and elsewhere in the world. In such a situation, the emergency opening of a standard roller shutter is achieved with a rather uncomfortable manual hand crank, often used from a ladder, and it can take several minutes just to open the door. For a sectional door with a chain hoist, it is more comfortable in comparison, but it still takes a huge amount of time and effort to open the door. Whereas with a high speed door, equipped with a counterbalance system. Manual release of the door blade is completed by simply flipping a lever on the frame. Now it's very important to note here that all different options for opening have nothing to do with emergency exit in the meaning of emergency and the escape regulations, which we have to strictly differentiate between. The economics of any door system are massively influenced by the intensity of use. So if we were to prepare a cost-benefit analysis, you would include not only the annual opening cycles, but you would factor the lifetime uh, expectancy over the particular product. For example, a typical sectional door is expected to achieve a maximum of 100,000 operating cycles. We know the purchase price of a high-speed door might be three times higher, but we also know it can realize 50 times more opening cycles. So in this example, the cost for the individual openings would be 16 times higher for a conventional door. If we now factor in energy costs, we see that because of the, the higher grade of automation, together with the higher operating speeds, reduced opening times, as well as running times, the results show an immense cost saving on the energy bill. It also reduces CO2, and it pushes the profitability analysis much further towards the high-speed door. If we then factor in waiting times for truck drivers perhaps, or forklift drivers, waiting for doors to open or close, you'll find the results even more clearly pushed on the negative side of conventional doors. If you now look at the result from the perspective of total ownership cost or lifetime value, the picture is very clear. Sustainability is defined as maintaining your recent requirements for resource without putting future generations at risk. In recent years, this has become more and more important. So for us, sustainability begins with planning, design, production, and goes all the way through the door's operation and ends with the removal and the recycling of the individual materials used in the door's construction. Expecting the intensive use of a door, the decision weighs heavier towards a high-speed product. In comparison to conventional door types, high-speed doors show a better ecological balance as they keep the energy consumption low and minimize energy losses in the building. Based on a much higher lifetime performance and significant reduction of waiting times, a high-speed door realizes massive energy and CO2 savings. This is improving the sustainability in a more environmentally friendly way. It also increases the profitability of your operation. Evidence of this is available in the sustainability certificate recently achieved from the IFT Institute in Rosenheim. So now, if we compare the outcome of the considerations, we can come to the following conclusions. The requirements for the new door will be fulfilled in a completely different way by a high-speed door or a conventional door. Depending on the prioritization of your different requirements, your choice could easily be one or the other. While a conventional door is not automatically a bad choice, does it fulfill the requirements you have for performance? Starting with a moderate up to a high intensity of use, choosing a high-speed door remains a sensible decision. The Effaflex product portfolio covers our full range of high-speed door solutions for commercial application. Our website also offers a really handy product finder, which provides simple and informative information to choose the ideal solution for your requirements. We also offer a matching service for all kinds of commercial door applications or specifications. Thank you for joining us today at the Effaflex Sales Academy. I hope you turn on again next time when it comes to background information and special requirements around high-speed doors. And don't forget, follow us on Facebook or LinkedIn.